Okay, a testament to our service economy is the modern appeal of these face wipes or these uh, wet cleansing towelettes. And I remember long ago I was a teenager and had acne, so I got those oxy pads. They were in the little cylinder cases, and you got maybe like 60 of them. And then they had like, I don't remember what it was, but I'm thinking like salicylic acid or something that would dry up your face and you put it all over your face. And it supposedly takes care of your acne problems. And I think I remember it being pretty effective. And um, lots of gunk would come off of them always. They would come out brown from just the oil, the face oils and the dirt from the day. So I, uh, I noted that uh, a lot of people are enjoying these things now. And really what they're offering up is a wet towel, like a wet paper towel that's lightly scented. Uh, this one in particular, I just, I just got it because you got a bunch of them for $4. Uh, it says, don't get it into your eyes. And I know that they are specifically made and marketed for eye makeup too. So this is a little bit different. And this basically just is a soft, pliable, cotton, probably cotton towel uh, with lots of ingredients on it. It really is kind of a laundry list of like weird stuff. Um, and I was thinking to myself, well, I want to give it a try because I am fully entrenched in this service economy and I often do make use of uh, services, uh, products and services, just for the sake of convenience. And um, so I, would, I thought I would give them a go. And for my purposes, just sometimes, like at the end of the day, I, um, I've thought, you know, see that, that I could just wipe off my facial features. And this one has kind of a lavender scent. And I'm liking the idea of these cleansing towelettes. And 60 of them, I don't use, I haven't used one every day. I mean, maybe once every two or three days. So this is a pretty long lasting supply. And I'll show you what I use them for. I, um, I like the feeling of just putting this cool cloth on my face. Really, could I keep a roll of paper towels by the sink? I think that I could, and I could wet it. It probably wouldn't be as sturdy as this cotton blend or whatever it's made of but um, it feels good on the flesh you can see that <laughs> I'm fully relaxed <laughs> um, and I'm liking it you know I don't really get a lot of I mean I don't get acne anymore mm. but it's just the grime of the day I've been gardening or out and about, try to avoid getting it in my eye. I don't think it's like catastrophic if it gets in your eyes. It's just they just mentioned that it's not really a product designed for that. It could cause some stinging. You might have to clean it out with some water. Um, and then I always blast, well, I should probably get this region too, but I always blast my ears. Oh, it feels great. It's so cooling. Mm. And then behind the ears. This is really the ticket. I mean, for what I paid to have months of this satisfaction and I like the scent and and I was really astounded when I was in the shop that the whole aisle was filled with these things and uh, I mean they have they've got to be wildly profitable because you wouldn't devote a giant big box retailer an entire aisle to this kind of thing if it wasn't and uh, yes now this is pretty soothing just all over the back and the musculature I'm liking it <clears throat> And now we've gone to, uh, now I've got some, a brand new unused portion for the neck region. I'm liking it. Um, okay, and I was looking at all the different brands, and there are a lot of brands. Like I said, this one's just bottom shelf. Just to try it out, see what it's like. But ha if I had the inclination or the, uh, the money to, to buy a smaller pack of like 15 or 25 for twice the cost, I could have been treated to a great range of aromas um, and probably I, th I think that the nurturing effect is going to be intact, you know, depending, no matter how far up or down the scale you go uh, as far as the cost. But I'm, I like um, I like the product. It feels good. 
really I just can't help but think that of the the magic of this of this of the economy where you're getting some nice moist towelettes <laughs> pre-moistened yeah so I like them and then this one I could still wring out even more of its juices and uh, and use them on my flesh so you can see that I wasn't too grimy probably from repeated use of these things and then now I could soothe myself a little bit more by running them over my hands so I kinda like them I'm just remembering uh, the period of my life when I used the small oxy pads and I did note that those still are, are on the shelf and, and uh, they were kind of tucked into a corner, like about knee level, so I suppose they don't really have a big market share anymore. But, I mean, this whole aisle was filled with this stuff. I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. So I'm liking them. Testament to ingenuity and uh, finding a need, a niche in the market, and actualizing on it. So I'm going to have to try some others, you know, not just this, this brand, this Quaid brand. I had my eye on a Burt's Bees one, which had what seemed to me a good blend of scents. And I would like to have some benign ingredients. You know, nothing that's obviously just an industrial byproduct. But that's a pretty big list of stuff. I mean, so I'm a little on the fence, you know. I mean, if I used fresh water and a paper towel or two, I would be certainly getting the same effect and maybe a dash of lavender oil, lavender essential oil, something safe. Yeah. But the huge range of chemicals that make it into our bodies, into and on our forms. Anyway, you know, I can't be too bothered. But, there we go my review of wet cleansing towelettes. I'm on board.